Now we're gonna do the right shoulder and I always set it to 12 by 10 and then I can column it if necessary. So um, what I do, I think different sites want you to include different things. Certain ones want you to get the entire clavicle and the entire scapula and then some only really want you to do the shoulder joint and kind of cut the other part off. But I'm just gonna show you getting the entire thing. So I'm gonna have you stand so that your back is totally everything but board, and oh, we'll see maybe just a teeny little bit. So you want to try to get the skin margin, and then you also want to try to get the that side of the clavicle. You don't have to get the other clavicle. You just need to get the entire clavicle. For girls, I would um, have them take their bra strap down so it's not going to be in the way, so that the adjusters won't be in the way. I just imagine a scapula is basically the size of your hand and your um, clavicle, you can actually see where the clavicle is, so the top. So you want basically kind of like an inch above where the clavicle is, and then you kind of want to imagine your hand being here, and then that's where your column is on the bottom. And then so for the external rotation, you're going to have your palm facing forward, and then you want to put your marker facing outward. So that will be the external rotation. And then the internal rotation you put the back of the hand, turn it so that it's kind of to the thigh, and then sometimes it makes the, the shoulder go up forward. So you wanna to try to put the shoulder back to where it was, and then you wanna put the marker inward, and then that would be the internal rotation for the shoulder. For the scalp Y, sometimes it helps if you put the hand on the belly, and then you angle the body, you want to feel so you want to feel for the back of the scapula and this is really hard to do with just one hand <laughs> so you, you want to feel for the back of the scapula the back of the scapula should kind of line up with the crosshair you can see that and then you want your humerus to be in the center so you want there to be a nice line between the back of the scapula and the front part of the humerus. And then just put your marker like that. And then you could try to collimate. And then that should be a good scap Y.